Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the factors of the quadratic equation using the factorization method. There are three methods for finding the factors or roots of the quadratic equation. The first one is the formula method, the second one is completing the squares method and the third one is the factorization method. So here in this video we will be learning the method of factorization. Let's start with the first quadratic equation which is x square minus x minus 20 is equal to 0. So in this type of quadratic equation when the coefficient of x square is 1, in both the equations we have a coefficient of x square as 1, we are going to find two numbers such that the sum of the two numbers is equal to x and the product of the two numbers is equal to 20. Let's name the numbers as a and b. For finding the factors, sum that is a plus b should be equal to negative x and the product which is a times b should be equal to minus 20. A good strategy is to find the factors of this number which is the product. So factors of 20 are 2 and 10, 4 and 5, 2 and 10, 4 and 5 and 20 and 1. So out of the all the three factors, we see that 4 times 5 is a good factor to use because 4 times 5 is 20 and 5 minus 4 will give us 1 which we need for second condition. So we are going to pick this factor pair 4 and 5. So now let's come back to our equation x square minus x minus 20 is equal to 0. So x square and minus x we have to write in terms of 4x and 5x. So first we'll write the two numbers and then we'll check the signs. So we need negative x so this will be plus. So plus 4x minus 5x will give us negative x. And we need negative 20, 4 times negative 5 will give us negative 20. Now we can further solve for finding the roots of the equation. So from the two terms x square and 4x, we can take out x common. So x plus 4 and from minus 5x and minus 20, we can take minus 5 common. In the parenthesis, we will have x plus 4. Now we'll take x plus 4 common, so x plus 4 and inside the second bracket we'll have x minus 5 which is equal to 0. So the product of two expressions is equal to 0. So either x plus 4 is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. So when x plus 4 is equal to 0, we'll have x is equal to negative 4. And when x minus 5 is equal to 0, we'll have x is equal to 5. So the two roots of the equation are x is equal to negative 4 and x is equal to 5. This is our final answer. So let us now solve our second example. So our second example is x square minus 11x is equal to 152. So sometimes our equation is given in this form. We can change it to x square minus 11x minus 152 is equal to 0. So now in this equation 152 will be the product of two roots or two terms and the sum of the term should be 11. Let's call the two numbers as a and b. So sum which is equal to a plus b should be equal to negative 11 and product should be equal to 152. Negative 152. So the factor pairs for 152 are 2 times 76 is 152, 4 times 38 is 152. 8 times 19 is 152 and 152 times 1 is 152. So out of all these four factor pairs, we are going to choose these two numbers because when proper signs are put in between the two numbers, their sum is equal to minus 11 and their product is 152. So we'll start with our equation 
x square minus 11x minus 152 is equal to 0. So x square instead of 11x we are going to write 19x minus 8x. Now we will check for the sign. We need negative 11x. So 19 should be negative and 8x should be positive minus 152. So this term 11x is replaced by minus 19x plus 8x. From these two terms we are going to take x as common. So x minus 19 will be in the parenthesis. And from these two terms we are going to take 8 common. So this will be x minus 19 is equal to 0. Now we are going to take x minus 19 common from both the terms. So x minus 19 times x plus 8 is equal to 0. So out of these two expressions, either x minus 19 is equal to 0 or x plus 8 is equal to 0. So when x minus 19 is equal to 0, we have x is equal to 19. And when x plus 8 is equal to 0, we have x is equal to negative 8. So the two roots or factors of the equation are x is equal to negative 8 and x is equal to 19. This is our final answer. So this is how we can factorize a quadratic equation by using the method of factorization. I hope this video is helpful to you. If you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more math videos. Thanks for watching.